Oh, looks like we're ready to harvest, boys and girls. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome along to another episode of A Dairy Man's Diary. My name is Harold. You join me in the middle of my uh, barley field here. The yard is just over there. And you can see we've got a, what looks like a very good, actually, a really tall crop of uh, barley ready to roll with us this morning. Uh, now this is uh, molten barley. We are going to be selling the grain here for, um, to make various different lagers and beers across North America. Um, it's not a particularly huge field, but it's big enough for us. The main thing, as always, that we're looking for here is the straw. Uh, unfortunately, there is a few weeds growing in the bottom here. You can see that green little beastie. Uh, and there's a few of those all over the um, over the field, so we didn't quite get that control as perhaps we would have liked to have. But uh, we, we're not going to hang around. I want to get this done um, and get this cut down. We still haven't got a baler yet, but we will be getting this baled one way or another. So we're going to have to um, get this cut down and get the grain into the into our silos to begin with. And everything else we can look into, we'll get this baled as quickly as possible. But there's a few things we want to have a look into and an update on first. Uh, you can see the crop in some places is a little bit thin actually, other places it's not too bad. But um, look at that, standard proud. A glorious machine that is. Uh, but we're going to jump back into the gator because we're actually going to go and have a bit of a drive. It's been a while since my last video actually here and there's a lot of changes and a lot of uh, updates since we last spoke. So we're going to have a look into those. Uh, one of which you can see the house driveway has been completed and that's because we had the local contractors in to come and do a lot of our reserves and works so we've got a driveway now um, and we're just going to scoot along up the main road here and we'll show you we've, we've got a little bit of extra uh, tarmacking being done in the yard as well it's really tidied the place up a bit actually it looks a lot better uh, and it's, it's a nice big job done and there's some equipment still in the yard there that doesn't belong to us but it just hasn't been collected yet and it looks menacing some of it Really, really does. Uh, but yeah, it took them about a day to do. They they cleared off a lot of the um, a lot of the topsoil, evened it out there, and then put down some um, tarmac for us as well. So here you can see we have it all kind of worked out. The yard looks a lot tidier, as I was mentioning. And uh, we're going to have a look into some of the areas that they changed up for us here. That's just got turned off. Uh, as you can see, there's still a, a semi-trailer in the back here with a beastly looking loader on the front. That thing is a big old new Holland. It is glorious to see. Uh, a couple of bits that are left here, just to, to, I don't know why, but we'll get that picked up at some stage, no doubt. But yeah, rather, rather impressive looking piece of equipment there for sure. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, they've got a little, tiny little tractor and with the blade on and they're leveling everything out there. And uh, it really didn't take them too long to do everything at all. Uh, not one bit. But what we're going to do, we're going to leave that there. We've got the case set up with the trailer on to do some harvesting. Uh, and as you can see, there is a combine here. Uh, there's an interesting story about that one, so we're going to get around there and have a look. Uh, you can see elsewhere where, we tied, where we've tied up everything. We've taken away a lot of the, um, the weeds and the topsoil that was lying around. Just made it a little bit more... Uh, a little bit of smart yard. It really has uh, improved, the, uh, improved the look of the whole place. Um, but yeah, we have a combine, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very old combine. It is not big at all, but it is also not expensive. And the lights on, superb. Uh, this was found, actually this was, uh, had a for sale sign that was parked up on the side of the road about half an hour drive south of here. And I was out for a drive going to pick up a few supplies and I saw this. So we asked a question, went to see uh, the owner to see what they thought was a, uh, a fair deal. And lo and behold, we were able to strike that deal. So we are looking good. It is, uh, it is, good knows how old. I think this is about 30 years old at the, the moment here. Maybe a bit more. Someone in the comments could maybe give me a better idea. But it is, it's not a big machine at all. But for what we need, it's going to do us all the good. So I'm actually going to jump into here. Let's see if we can turn that off. What we're going to do is take this down over to the field. Starts on the button as well. Listen to this thing. Just glorious. And we'll take it down to... Where are we going here? Yeah, we'll take it along the road there, I think. Get some flashes on. So it's nice to actually have our own combine here. I was never looking to buy one because I thought I'd never be able to afford anything. But this was nice and cheap. So we've picked this one up. I left the flashing light on on the gator as well. 
Uh, and then we still yet to find a baler. It looks like I might have to lease a baler now because uh, the the baler that we were originally looking into getting um, is no longer available. Uh, the cost of the I've been quoted for new balers is astronomical, and it's not something I'm gonna I'm willing to spend. Let's put it that way. Uh, so we'll have to see if we can find an option there somehow, because uh, we are gonna be bailing a lot of uh, straw here. Uh, we need to keep all of our straw. We still probably don't have enough even with all of our land that we've got left to cut down so that's something that we need to try and well see if we could source them for now though i'm going to rumble along here this is by no means quick so i'm going to rumble along to the field get ourselves set up and we'll come back to you when we're underway with the harvesting well ladies and gentlemen i have found myself a cracker look at this thing We've just taken off one round here and just about to start another one there. It's a beautiful machine. It's actually singing along in the field here as well uh, without any issues. What I am going to do though is part ways with this for just a second. But don't, don't, don't miss me over there. Uh, and I'm going to walk back up to the yard where I'm going to bring the case tractor over I think. Uh, and we'll get ourselves going. It's going to be nice to get through. This is our crop of oats. As you can see, this is still a long way off. This was drilled in the late spring. As you can see, it's still very green. Uh, it's going to come through eventually. It's going to come through good, judging by what the uh, the crop's looking like there. Um, and then that'll be another great crop of oats. We're going to keep hold of that, though. We're not going to sell the oats. We're just going to um, put them into the silo. Uh, and then after that... That's all of our harvest done really for now, to be honest. We would really like to try and get some more land, but land is expensive around here and we don't have enough money to do that. Uh, what we're going to do though is to see if we can... We're still looking to try and find some grassland we can take on. Um, we are going to need a little bit more of that for the, to make some more winter fodder. Cattle are doing well, their grass in their pen is storing up. Good lord, is that high. But yeah, they're doing very well, they're very healthy, very happy now they're all settled in. Uh, I'm going to have to jump into the gator first though and turn off that flashing light, that's too much. Uh, I don't want to drain down the battery on that little guy. Wait a minute. There we go. And into the case. I'm going to take this back along to the field. So I hope you're all doing very well, guys. Hope you're all having a great week, whatever you're doing, whatever you're getting up to. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you're getting up to today and how it is all going. Love to kind of keep an eye on the, and hear what all of my uh, what my viewers are doing. Let's get some flashing lights on. And away we go. It's going to be a big old truck to pull that trailer out of here, that's for sure. So I don't know in terms of the yield what we're going to get out of this field, if I'm honest. I'm really just kind of going to see how it all pans out. The bottom end where the combine is parked, I've noticed from the first round we did there, is full of weeds. Um, I don't know to what extent that's going to spread through the field in terms of how high up it goes. So the first probably about, if you look at the way the combine is facing, the first kind of 20 meters that way has got a very bad weed problem. I think I can put that down to the fact that the, the land down there is very, very light uh, and probably is a bit more accommodating for weeds, shall we say. Uh, we're just going to stick this about here, actually. It's just me on my own today. Uh, I have no one to drive the combine, so I shall be doing both, both challenges, both jobs, but uh, hey, that's not a problem. Um, Beautiful, beautiful. I love the case tractors. I really do. Big fan of case around here at the moment. Uh, so we're going to jump back into the old girl. It really does fire up. You can see there's quite a few weeds in the floor there, but uh, what we'll do is we'll just take all this. We're going to just get a little bit of a um, well, empty our tank out here, and then we'll be on for the rest of the uh, rest of the afternoon with this. Really, I would imagine. Look at all that beer flowing into that trailer. All of that lovely, lovely molten barley. It is, however, times like this where I wish I had a larger header. Uh, I'll be honest. It does make even this relatively small field look pretty big? 
But uh, nonetheless, we will keep cracking on here. We'll come back to you later on down the line when we've made a little bit more progress and we'll see how it's all looking. A train! Alright then, folks, our trailer is probably in the realms of about 75-80% full. Uh, but we're going to take it back to the yard now. Um, primarily just to get it empty before we continue, but... Well, let's be honest, I want a cup of coffee, and I haven't got any with me here, so we're going to just make a quick jump over to the yard, uh, tip this off, and then on the way back we'll go and get something to drink, uh, and then we can get this all... We've made some decent progress there, we've got three headlands done, I think I'll probably put one more on there before I uh, start just with the bulk of the field. Uh, and then, yeah, it shouldn't take us all that long to do, we should get it done all today comfortably, but it'll be nice just to have that kind of in the, in the books and done, and then we can focus on getting the that all, all bailed up as well um, but we'll have to wait I'm not sure how we're going to do that yet we need to make a few phone calls to see where we can acquire a baler from be it either if we have to get a contractor in for the short run or if it's uh, going to be something that we try and lease I don't know but uh, that's for me to figure out at some stage now we're going to just use our new silo system for the first time uh, which is all very exciting what we're going to have to do and rather annoyingly some buffoon has parked the semi-trailer in the way, so usually the plan is that you do a full loop around here. Uh, but that isn't going to happen, it doesn't look like. So what we might do is just see if we can take on the grass, actually. God, that's menacing. Just menacing. Yeah, we can get around here. There we go. And on we go there. And so we're going to tip this up. It's going to come out of the back chute here. This trailer is actually really cool. You can use this uh, from three different sides if you so feel the need. But we're just going to tip it up normally from the back. I think that's just done there. Crikey, there wasn't much in there at all. And onwards we go. Only this time... Uh, we're going to go up to the field via this way. I am nothing if consistent and it is coffee time. So I uh, will stop right here and we're going to go and jump in there and get ourselves all fueled up. Need the coffee, 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 need the coffee. And we're good. We can relax, people. It's a cracking day, actually, here today for us to get going with this. It really, really is. Uh, and we should hopefully... Well, there certainly won't be much left. It's about mid-morning now, so we can get ourselves rolling and get this all finished up. It shouldn't take us too long at all. Uh, the Combin's actually singing through there without any problems. We're going to take this... Uh, this is kind of like a, a rough beaten track up this way. That I had uh, kind of uh, trampled in when I was leading silage... Um, a few weeks back there now so we'll take this route and this should get us back up and going as quickly as we can and all being well yeah like i say we'll get this all into the yard uh moisture wise so far i had a little bit of a test of it earlier on it's coming in at around about 17 percent which is pretty good for what we need it'll sit in the tank there for a while and if we need to uh when it gets taken away the um the distributor will tickle it to a dryer i do believe so we should be good there anything for me, anything below 18% uh, is good. Anything below 15% is perfect. So we're a little bit high, but uh, it's just too good a weather to, to not go for it today. So, Which is exactly what we've done. Uh, now we'll leave you here. There we go. That's a big ship out to see there. So yeah, I'm going to jump back into my, um, I'll be honest, a little bit uncomfortable seat here. Uh, one thing they did not build in this machine was comfort. Uh, this was before comfort was an issue. But uh, hey, it's doing the perfect job for us. I can't complain too much. Or I shouldn't complain too much, maybe. But anyway, we're going to get firing on again here with this. And uh, we will see how we get on. And uh, soon we'll get going through. And all being well, like I say, the rest of today we'll have this all done. Uh, we'll leave this here for now though, thank you ever so much for watching, I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Simulation for the Nation who very kindly agrees to host my diary blogs here. And we will see you in the next one. And so from me, Harold, inside my mighty case combine, 
we will see you later.